I have a question. I was wondering if you could give us um, information about your race and maybe get your name. Uh, do you have a name? Yes. And can you share that with us? And I am sorry, I did not. Yes. Yes. And uh, just something about your race and where you're located and how, how advanced are you? We are really not from this galaxy. Okay. So this, it's a name of star system would be irrelevant because we would be far beyond that star system and into a different one. Um, but we are the Blue Avians. We speak through some people, as you are aware. Some of you are aware, not all of you perhaps. But we do have much information. My name is Kashasan. It's actually longer than that. It's Kashasan Sisasomanana. But um, just call me Kasha, so. or just Kosh. <laughs> it does not matter. Names are not important because you really don't know us yet. When we get to know you one-on-one, -on -one, a name will be important. When I'm speaking to a crowd or many people, my name is not important. What is important is the things that you hear and grasp onto. That is the important part. What other part to that question was there? Um, just a little bit more about, like, are you a physical being? Um, do you, we, I saw an image that Corey Good had, had on his, uh, with Ratata. Mm -hmm. And is that the image of what you look like? Yes. <laughs> and we have shown ourselves in your past history on some of the walls of caves. In your, on your pyramids, you see the beaked figures. We take on a human form, except for the head. Um, we try to disguise it as much as possible. But our race is, a, is a very ancient. We are very ancient, and we've been to your Earth many, many times. And we've helped develop your sciences as well. We've helped build things for you and bring about positive growth. Now, you being who you are in your dimension, always find a way to mess it up a little bit. However, that is to be expected. But we have been around for tens of thousands of years. And we are still in corporeal form. Density? <clears throat> I... Let me say this about that. Our density is not the same as yours. However, you have so many different names for the density that we are from. To mention the density would only be confusing to you. So therefore, I will just say it is a much higher density. Are the new are entrants... Is there somebody else in the room that has a question? I've been seeing uh, dragonflies a lot. Is there any, any meaning to dragonflies? Of course. Anything from nature that comes around that is flying, especially flying beings, insects, birds, they have messages for you. It's become aware. But dragonflies are interesting because they have a rainbow of colors. They are brightening your chakras. They are letting you know that your chakras are in tune with what they are feeling about you. And they have, uh, dragonflies are a very unique species and are actually very loving creatures. And so they, a sensitivity with dragonflies is a beautiful thing. They're chakra brighteners, they're chakra seers, and they know people by their warmth and love. And so if you have a dragonfly that comes near you of, or a hummingbird, they are also very intuitive of good love and kindness. You're welcome. 